In the previous lectures, I tried to explain you how the JSTOR tag is secure as compared to just plain using the EL. Now, we'll create another example. 3 JSTL. Just open this folder. Now, create a JSP page, index.jsp. To keep it simple, I'm going to create an attribute request dot set attribute let's assign a value h1 we are using a plain string containing the HTML tag some text now just use the cout tag once again value attribute and don't forget to close and because we are using jstl so write the taglib directive taglib prefix and uri http colon slash slash java.sun.com slash jsp slash jstl slash core now here we will specify the el attribute value abc and you know what would be the output the attributes value will out into the response and that response will be sent to the browser the jstl simply escapes all the angular brackets so the entire string will be treated as a constant string how that is possible you very well know that see the source code before sending it to the client jstl tag simply escaped all the angular brackets now i'm going to introduce another attribute escape xml by default the escape xml is true but if you want to suppress that default value you should write the escape xml attribute into the cout tag and assign false now once again i'm going to refresh it uh, what happened oh sorry spelling escape xml spelling mistake refresh some text this time the angular brackets are not escaped you are getting the entire string as it is without escaping the angular brackets now you learned that how to use escape xml and sometimes when it is not a threat you can use the escape xml to achieve the desired result in next video i'll show you another example